Welcome to today's Tilium MarTech Challenge, tracking links on a website without writing code. My name is Dan George, and I'm the Solutions Consulting Operations Manager at Tilium. So you've probably asked yourself, how can I track what my users are doing after the page loads, such as link clicks, uh, without getting your engineering team involved? So us at Tilium, we've developed a way for you to do that with no coding, and here are the steps on how to do that. First, you need an active Tilium IQ user account. Second, you're gonna need the Tilium Tools Chrome extension. Third, you'll need the jQuery library loading on your website. And lastly, you should know where you want your event data to be passed, such as Google Analytics. So let's talk about this. In the Chrome Web Store, you can search for Tilium Tools and install this extension. Once it's installed, you're gonna see this little icon uh, called Tilium Tools. So let's see this in action now. I'm on the tiliumneed.com slash pricing webpage and I want to be able to track when a user clicks any of these C plan buttons. So in order to do that, I'm going to click my Tilium tools, and then when it loads, choose Web Companion. When it loads, I'm going to go to the Tools tab, and this is what's going to allow me to do my on-page element selector. So once I click that, you can see these crosshairs that show up, and I want to click the C plan button, and that's step one. Step two is to choose my jQuery Live Handler, and I'm going to say this is my C plan, for $35 plan. I want this to be a single element tracked and I want to do a link event and a mouse down and add this to my queue. Since we're not doing a single page app, no primary selector is required at this time. So I want to track my other two C plans as well. So I can click select new target, C plan, jQuery live hander, single element, and again, I want my link event type on mouse down, and I'm gonna add that to the queue. And then lastly, I need to do my $75 plan as well. So C plan for $75, single element, link, mouse down, add to queue. So at this point, you can see that I have three unsaved changes in my queue, and I'm gonna click save to apply all of these, and confirmation to save the profile. If you are not already logged in, uh, Web Companion will prompt you to do so. And additionally, if you have MFA, you can enter your multi-factor authentication ID there as well. So let's log in to TeleMyQ and actually see this extension added to our profile. When I go to the extensions tab, you'll notice that three new extensions are added and at this time, they are all uh, deactivated. So I wanna enable all of them. And from here, you can see my selector is already there. I triggered on mouse down and this is a link type event. It's just looking good so far. So now we need to pass our data through. In my example, I want to be able to pass through my Google Analytics event and pass through the information specific to that. So I can just go through all of these and enter my information. So this may seem um, the same, but remember the selector at the end is, is different. You can see the EQ1. So we have C plan here as well. Click, but this is for my $55 plan. And I'm going to add my category action and label here as well for my $75 plan. This is for my action and my attributes. So C plan, click, and 75. So I've enabled all three, I've added my category, action, and label, and if I go to my tags tab, you can see already that my category, action, and label are already being mapped through. So nothing addition I need to add to my tag. So I can go to my save publish button, and C plan, click logic, and publish this out to production. At this point, that's all that's required to be able to add those configurations in, but of course, we want to see this actually working. So I can go back to my web page and refresh my web page. Usually in this instance, um, you can go into Google Analytics to verify that the data is being passed through, but we're gonna bring up our Chrome developer tools and use that method to make sure that the data is getting through. So to see Google Analytics, we can filter on collect and refresh my page. I wanna preserve my log because the click event's gonna reload this page and we wanna be able to see these events th feed through. So clear my current page data click my C plan button and look at my event that fed through and you can see C plan, click, and 35. And I can do the same thing for my 55 
Here's my new event, C plan, click 55. And then for my 75, C plan, here's my new event. And we have, uh, let's see, we want to make sure we get the right one. Here it is, C plan, click, and 75. So with the Telium Tool Chrome extension and three extensions added within Telium IQ, we are now able to select anytime a user clicks the 35, 55, or 75 C plan button. And that's how you do that using Telium. Thanks for joining today's Telium Challenge. Have a great day.